Applications with Fractions by Allison Hammock. Problem number one. About seven-tenths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. The surface of the Earth covers 200 million square miles. How many square miles of land is there? Okay, so we need to figure out kind of what's going on. We've got some amount of water on Earth plus amount of land equals the total Earth's surface. So in our problem, they've given us 7 tenths of our surface is covered by water, so we know the portion that's covered by water. We do not know the portion covered by land, but we do know that the Earth's surface is one whole sphere, or one whole ball. So 1, we could say, is really 10 out of 10. And so we've got this missing piece here, let's call it x. So we know that 7 tenths plus x equals 10 out of 10. So we know that x must be 3 tenths. We could solve this equation to find that though. Let's subtract 7 tenths from each side. So here we're left with x equals 10 minus 7 is 3 tenths. So we know that 3 tenths of the Earth's surface is covered by land. We need to know how many square miles of land there is. So we've got some keywords in the problem. The surface of the Earth covers 200 million square miles. How many square miles of land is there? So of means to multiply. So we're going to take our 3 tenths and now multiply it by the total surface area of the Earth, which is the 200 million. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. We'll get 600 million all over 10. We can simplify this by removing a zero from both the numerator and the denominator, and we're left with our final answer of 60 million square miles. cuts a board three and three-eighths feet long from one six feet long. How long is the remaining piece? So it might be helpful to draw a simple picture in this example. Here's our board. So we started with a six foot long board. And from that board we cut out a piece that is three and three-eighths feet. So the portion we have left, we're going to have to do some subtraction. So we have 6 minus 3 and 3 eighths. So let's set this up up and down. We have 6 minus 3 and 3 eighths. We're going to do our problem up and down here, this direction. So, but in order to subtract this, we need to borrow from the 6 because we need to have a fractional piece here to be able to subtract this. So 6, we can think of 6 as 5 and 8 over 8, where just off to the side, let's look at this, 5 and 8 eighths is the same as 5 plus 1, or 6. Now we can go ahead and do the subtraction. 8 eighths minus 3 eighths is 5 eighths. 5 minus 3 is 2. So our answer is 2 and 5 eighths piece of board. Okay, the hamburger stand plans to sell burgers on July 4th. A total of two, 27 and 3 quarters pounds of hamburger meat has been ordered. How many quarter pound hamburgers can this make? Alright, so the math that we're going to end up doing is division. So we start with our 27 and 3 quarters. And we're going to divide this into 1 quarter pound patties to make each hamburger. So in order to do this division, we need a first, we're going to first make this 
we need to change this to an improper fraction. Change to an improper fraction. So in order to, to do that, we're going to have, we're going to go this direction. 4 times 27 plus 3. So let's write that out. We're going to have 4 times 27 plus 3 will be in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we put this all over 4. So when we go ahead and do the math here, let's see, we have 27 times 4. That's 8, 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and 2, 108. 108 plus 3, I'm going to get 111. So I have 111 out of 4. So let's rewrite our problem now. We have really 111 out of 4 divided by 1 fourth. Now, for division with fractions, we're really going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to change the sign to be multiplication. So we're going to do this, 1, 1, 1 over 4 times and change this to be the reciprocal, which just means that we flip it over. So this is the math here that we're going to be doing. Okay, let's go down here where I have more room. So I have 111 over 4 times 4 over 1. Well, I notice that I have the same number on the diagonal. I can cancel it out, and they both go to 1. So I'm left with 111 over 1, or 111 burgers can be made out of the starting amount of meat. All right, our last problem. A truck traveled 341 miles on 15 and a half gallons of gas. How many miles might we expect the truck to travel on just one gallon of gas? So what we're going to be calculating is our miles per gallon. Often it's given as MPH, where this means miles per gallon. So let's go ahead and work this out. So we take our miles. Our miles is 341. And we're going to be dividing this by our 15 and 1 half gallons. So we have miles per gallon. So what we can rewrite this is 341 divided by 15 and 1 half. Same thing. means the same thing. But we need to change this to improper. We need to change change to an improper fraction. Just like we did in the problem up here, we're going to do the same kind of thing. So let's go over here where I'm going. 15 and 1 half is going to, be, going to become 2 times 15 plus 1 all over 2. So I'm going to get 31 over 2. So now let's rewrite our problem. We have 341 divided by 31 over 2. So when I'm doing division, I need to multiply by the reciprocal. So I have 341. I can put this over 1 if that helps me. Times the reciprocal is 2 over 31. So now I'm going to do this math here. 341 times 2. Four times two is eight. Six eighty-two. All divided by thirty-one. But now this here, I need to simplify further. So I'm dividing six eighty-two divided by thirty-one. I can set that up like this. Thirty-one goes into sixty-eight. Two times two times thirty-one is sixty-two. I'm going to subtract and then bring down one digit. Now 31 into 62, it goes in twice, evenly, and I'm left with my final answer. So my answer is 22 miles. So I can expect to travel 22 miles per one gallon of gas.